So here we're looking at an anterior view of a plastic model of a kidney. What we can see, uh, which I forgot to mention in the lecture, sitting on the superior aspect of the kidney is the suprarenal or adrenal gland. So we can see the kidney sitting below that. What, to see the structures we need to see today though, we'll take off that anterior part of the kidney, which means we can see the internal structures now. Firstly, this lighter coloured part, the outer part is the cortex. So that's the cortex of the kidney there. A more interior part here would be a pyramid. So here they've coloured them in red and pink. On, on the specimens they'll just be dark, dark areas and light areas. Cortex will be light, pyramids will be dark. But here we've got the pyramids, easy to spot because of the colour. And remember that the collecting ducts that carry the urine run down the pyramid, empty through these papillae into these minor calyces. So these tunnels here, each of them is a minor calyx. So again, there's one here, another one here. Now the minor calyces, let's take these two for example, when they come together, they form a major calyx. So here is a major calyx, which is formed when two minor calyces come together. So the urine will come down a collecting duct into a minor calyx, and then if it's one of these two minor calyces here, into a major calyx, and then when two major calyces come together, that is the renal pelvis. Now we can also see the renal pelvis on this model. If we turn it over and have a look from a posterior point of view, here's the renal pelvis here. This is probably the easiest place to pin the pelvis because you can clearly see that it's a wide tubular structure here. Once it narrows, once the pelvis narrows to become a smaller tubule, then that would be the ureter. Now I probably wouldn't pin the ureter on this model because there are other models that show it more clearly. But pelvis certainly very clear from here. 